Hello mga loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are seeing me for the first time, my name is Miami. My channel is called Miami Loves and I mainly uh, do perfume reviews, perfume unboxing, perfume haul. So if you are watching me right now and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and uh, Comment down below if you're someone like me who loves perfume, especially if you're a Filipina who lives in Australia, because I love meeting people like that. Shout out to 13 subscribers, kujan, okay? And by the way, this is my second filming today. As you know, we're all stuck at home. I hope you do. You are doing the right thing as well, and let's just hang in there, keep praying, okay? Like I said, this is my second filming today, and we're gonna continue with with our one review one unboxing that means one perfume review one unboxing of perfume okay and the perfume that we're gonna review for this video is jimmy choo by jimmy choo it's the one the bottle that i have here is a hundred ml bottle in all the perfume concentration the box is just like this i, I showed it to you before it's bulky but i like the feel it it feels like a snake skin recommended retail price for this um mga loves is 160 australian dollars but you know me i love me a good bargain i bought this from chemist warehouse or feeling sexy i'm not sure for 59.99 okay so if you are interested in this perfume please do shop around don't don't just buy it in the department store because it's expensive main accord is sweet sweet patchouli patchouli fruity warm spicy floral green top notes is mandarin orange pear green notes middle notes is orchid base notes is toffee patchouli Okay, mga besh, this perfume was launched in 2011. When this was launched, I think the very same year when it was launched, launch, launch, when it was launched, I did try this perfume. Did not really like it, as as I remember, I did not like it. But when I started um, collecting perfume and actually was watching a lot of YouTubers, perfume reviewers in YouTube, uh, a lot of people like really like this scent so it got me thinking maybe i should give it a second chance okay so when it was um on sale i did grab a bottle and okay so i wrote the notes and the main accords to you i'm gonna describe to you in my own words i did write it down make sure i did not forget the first spray i'll show you how it spray it's a good spray good nozzle okay i hate the first spray okay i remember why i don't like this perfume it's sort of like it's too strong almost like nail polish this is just on my skin okay and it has like like a body wash nail polish body wash smell nail borderline nail polish it's that strong but then it be, it quickly becomes uh sweet okay sweet with green green notes if you can imagine like um freshly cut green grass or when you're mowing it has it's very you can smell that and on the background maybe the sweetness from the pear maybe is what i'm smelling it's very very faint okay it's not overly sweet okay and okay i would say after 10 minutes 15 minutes the middle note is the one i still don't like the middle notes it has the the, the sharpness is there maybe from the the pear or the mandarin orange it has like not a, a prominent sharpness but it's almost got like a sharpness dirty almost like earthy but you know how some earthy scents are, are nice but this one i don't like it's almost like sharpness or dirty i don't know is it from the the what they say green nose or the orchid because i don't know the smell of an orchid i don't have professional nose but then the dry down the dry down is i like because i like patchouli 
So for people of you who don't like what you eat, don't even bother, okay? This is the sort of scent that if you close your eyes and smell the dry down, it hasn't really dried down on my skin yet. But if you, when I did test it out, okay, on the dry down, I, I closed my eyes and it said, I smell something very familiar. And you know what it is? It's the um, angel from Thierry Mugler. It has similar, not very, it's not exactly the same. I'm not saying exactly the same, but it's got a strong patchouli smell, okay? Now, Angel, the reason why it's popular, okay? And the reason why to me that's gourmand is because the strong patchouli smell on the dry down is blended beautifully with like the cacao, like chocolate, chocolate, cacao, notes and and then musky so like the patchouli cacao strong cacao and then musky to me that's what's special in angel but with this one it's but the it's just straight up patchouli with on and on the background i could i could smell the caramel like it's almost like butter caramel which is makes sense because it's toffee is on the dry down to me i would i would love for the toffee to be more prominent but it's not but i did hear i, I watch a youtuber saying that in this in the heat during the summer these scents perform differently okay so i'm gonna wait till next summer and i'm gonna test this out again because she did say on during the heat the, f the freshness of the pear is more predominant during the top notes, during the, the first spray, which I like. And on the middle notes, maybe I would like for the pear to come through more. And then during the dry down, the toffee is more, it's louder side by side with the patchouli. Because at the moment, when I did try it out, I just, all I can smell is patchouli with a little bit of toffee in the background, which it's nice. I mean, because I love patchouli. I don't mind patchouli, okay? This is the reason why I think a lot of people like this is because it performs good. Like longevity is, I'd say, 8 to 10 hours because I did work long shift. I did work 8 hours and I can still smell it. Projection is above average. I did get compliment from my co-workers and siage is average, okay? And because the siage is average and the projection is good and longevity is good, this, it makes it a good signature perfume, okay? During the day, if you work in an office or you want a signature, perf signature, signature perfume during the day, this would be a good scent for you. Okay, there you go, mga loves. I hope you like my review of Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo or the perfume. On to the unboxing, okay? And we're gonna unbox Sadiq and Voltaire. This is her EDP 100 mil. I'm not sure how much I got this. I think I wrote it down. Okay, um, it was launched in 2016 and the... Um, Recommended retail price of this is still a hundred and twenty for one hundred mil, but I got the seventy-seven dollars, and I got it. I think websense.com.au. So the box is like that. It's sort of like embossed. It's got like a a grain to it, and I got the logo there, the um information there. Boxes like that. Ooh, I love unboxing. This is my favorite one. And the bottle. It's very unique. It's almost like, okay, I don't know the term for this bottle again. Semi opaque or frosted. Is it called frosted? Hmm. Hang on, mga loves. Ooh, different. Okay, main accord is sweet vanilla woody milky powder. It has, it is milky. I can, it, that's very obvious right away. And um, I read 
uh, I was intrigued by this um perfume because someone said it has a good balance of cleanliness and mysteriousness. So I'm excited to review this perfume for you. And if you want to try, if you want me to review this right away, please comment down below. And I will review this right away for you, okay? Mm, very different, this perfume, okay? There you go, mga, mga loves. I hope you like my review of Sadiq, Sadiq, Sadiq and Voltaire. This is her EDP. And Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo EDP. Keep safe, mga loves. And subscribe sa mga hindi pa subscribe. I'll see you next video. Bye!